Uh, I'm about to close this meeting now, but we have our programs coordinator. He wants to update us on the probably website, yeah? And when it's going to be ready. Can you talk for five minutes? Uh, right, just, just, just a quick one. Uh, the first one is the Diaspora Focus Group has been running for almost two years. During that time, we have been doing consultation with Zimbabweans in different towns and areas, in London, in Leicester last time, in Leeds last time, and, and all that. And like I said before, there are always uh, thematic areas that people would have said they want discussed. Uh, at the moment, what we are discussing with the embassies to, I mean, with the uh, British government, is all these issues of how can the diaspora be in charge of their own future, both in deciding what happens with the policy issues around immigration, uh, the economic elements, our projects at home, and all that. But this is not all. Uh, there are a lot of examples of the things we have done. The meetings we have been doing with immigration uh, in the Home Office are just a case in point. Uh, the other, so because, because I thought there might be others who, who think, well, maybe the focus group is all just talk. We don't see evidence of the practical work that we have actually done. But the main thing is, uh, that's why we're talking about the website. We want to put all this information so that it's available to every Zimbabwe. The second thing I will say is uh, the Zimbabwe Diaspora Focus Group is for all Zimbabweans that live here in the UK. Every information, every meeting, no matter where it is done, must become available. Uh, the information that comes out of that should be available to all the Zimbabweans. So if there is anyone uh, any Zimbabwean that wants minutes of any meeting that the focus group has had with other towns in the consultation, whether even if it was with the uh, Home Office or the Her Majesty's Government, you are free to have that information because it is important for Zimbabweans to be aware uh, of all of these things that are at their disposal uh, and what other Zimbabweans think and what contributions they would have made to policy issues. Uh, and I hope when the website is, uh, is updated, more information will be available. But for me, I was going to request that this is for Zimbabweans. It's a forum. Can people in Manchester take the Generation X initiative, meet as often as you want, consult with one another? If there's anyone that wants to know about uh, any portfolio, whether it's business, uh, the charities portfolio. The charities portfolio has been meeting almost uh, every month. And there's a lot of information about what they can do and what they are, I mean, helping each other with funding and how to get things around and how to help people on the ground. So we need to work together as Zimbabweans. Let's take these things into our own hands. Let's not blame ourselves for failure to achieve the change we want. Yeah, well. Thank you, thank you, Tom. Um, I think, are you ready? Or is that coming? Yeah. yeah. Um, you quickly? Okay, I'll just quickly show you the website that I'm developing for the DFG. And then we'll do another website as well for the hometown associations. And then that's where you'll manage to get all the information. Um, this, is just, this is just one page, basically, to show you what it will look like.
It's three pounds per plate, but however, we do understand that uh, some people uh, do survive on vouchers if they have no money. But uh, we as Zimbabweans, we won't let other Zimbabweans go hungry because of that. If they are honestly, if that is honestly the truth, we will provide you with food. We are not people who have got our own personal or whatever agenda or whatever, but we do take care of our Zimbabweans, even if it means digging into our pockets. This is why we had to contribute, and somebody contributed in buying that meal, meal and uh, that inyama, and uh, I don't know what else is there, but it's because somebody had that passion to see uh, that their fellow Zimbabweans don't go hungry. So if you are there and you are hungry, we won't let you go home hungry. Yeah? Thank you. And that is the spirit which we always would like to keep. That's what the work is going to look like eventually. Um, it's not too crazy. So on, on, on here, that's where you have the links for all the portfolios. As diaspora communities link charities for benefit of those in Zimbabwe, business community, women, youth, faith, religious groups, arts and culture, immigration and asylum, media, think tanks, research and academics. And then um, at the top, we'll have uh, more of the human activities, um, as in justice, economics, education, labor, politics, entertainment. So we're just going to try and cover as many areas as possible that affect the human, uh, that affect our human activities. So um, in terms, in terms of interaction, I'll try to make an interactive site where people can actually come in and have a discussion forum on there as well. So once, once, once it's up and running, it's going to be more, more, more interactive. Thank you. Yeah. Is that it? Okay. Okay then. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I would like to take this opportunity to thank you all for your time, for your patience, and please be patient with us. We are learning. We were just the pathfinders of this organization, and you are still learning. And we thank you so much for the comments that you have written here. We will try to to learn from them. Some will try to address others, it, it, it might be difficult for us, but we are learning as we go on. And please be with us, help us to shape this organization so that it, it is going to be an organization that is going to change uh, our, our future Zimbabwe. I would like to specially thank uh, Mr. Konoya for paying for this venue. He gave us money to pay for, for, for this venue. Actually, in actual fact, he contributed. He contributed 500 pounds for us to do all this road. Uh, <laughs> about ZDFG. And you heard him today that he is also willing to pay for those. Uh, he is going to pay half of the price of the food today. and. Uh, I will pay for those who, who have n nothing to pay for today. What about the embassy? What about the embassy? And, uh, and we, we want to thank, sorry, the embassy. We feel, we feel honored. <laughs>
Amen. Amen. Right. I'm from you. Okay, so let's go and eat. What, what should we eat?